Maha comes to us from Blumhouse and the director of The Girl on the Train and Get On Up James Brown Story. It stars Octavia Spencer and Ma is about a lonely middle aged woman and she befriends some kids and she decides to let them party in the basement of her house. But there are some house rules and coins on her. One of the kids has to stay sober, don't cuss, and never go upstairs. They also must reference refer to her as Ma. But as Ma hospitality starts to crawl into obsession, what began as a teenage dream into a terrorizing nightmare. And Ma's place goes from the best place in, in town to the worst place on earth. So that's it, it, that's easily the premise of Ma and Ma is not very this is not very good. It's not bad. Ma isn't bad, but this is a movie I, I couldn't really get into. And this is coming from Blumhouse Productions and Universal. Usually I like Blumhouse movies, especially some of their horror movies. But the problem that I have with Ma is that this movie it doesn't this movie doesn't know what is what it's trying to be. Ma doesn't it doesn't really have a clue on what it what it's trying to what what is going for here. And I understand that you are trying to make something something out of this this film and you're trying to be it's trying to be something interesting but for the entire hour and 30 39 minutes this movie I found myself bored out bo and you don't even take full advantage of your premise the teenage characters are very annoying in this movie is is not is not the writing is not the performances is just I don't know if it's the way these teenage characters are written or if it's the way they're acting but the acting isn't too terrible Octavia Spencer is the reason to watch this movie because she is having fun playing a crazy killer Luke Evans, Juliette Lewis, and Missy Pyle. The rest of the cast is fine, including Allison Jane. The rest of the cast is fine, and I think they do good with what they're given. But Ma, it just when you get into the actual killing, that's where I started to become a little interest, become interested in the movie. And that's what kind of saves this movie a little bit is the performances of his cast and the actual kill killing part. The act, the cinema technical aspects are not that bad. You have a good it's six million dollars, so I shouldn't really have to say anything about the technical aspects. But it looks decent enough. It looks well shot, and it looks and. And it looks well done. I just feel like there are parts here that I I just found myself bored out of this movie. It doesn't really know what it's trying to be, especially towards the end, because the third act is just way too over the top for me. But Ma, as it stands, it's not a bad movie, but Ma is not really a movie I'm going to go back to. So, at the end of the day, Ma is just best renting. Rent this from Redbox. Let me know what you guys think.
of them all down below. Did you like it? Did you not like it? I'll see you guys in the next video. Be sure to follow my social media links in the description box down below. So all my social media as well as my merchandise store. You guys keep cool and join the epitaph.